What's up guys? It's Rocky Training 101, kiteboarding for Nat. This is your bar as I showed you last night, okay? And we're going to learn every property on this. So, first thing we want to do is untangle the lines. As you can see, they're wrapped in a figure eight combination. You always want to wrap them like that because they won't get twisted up. This keeps the lines from twisting. So. I always walk alongside the wind, okay, it's the easiest to remember, and we're going to walk them out just like this. Alright guys, this is what you can expect here. This is our bar. Notice it's color coded. Right here we have orange and we have white. Now typically the orange is supposed to be on your left when you're flying the kite. But when we're rigging, it's opposite. So when we lay it on the ground, orange is always on the right. Okay? Now here's one of the features that you gotta remember. This is your chicken loop here, okay? If anything ever happens or goes wrong, all you have to do is hit that release. So let's say I'm hooked and I'm getting pulled away. Now, as you can see, the chicken loop has been released. It's just a pin, okay? To reload the pin, all you have to do is push it back through, bring it around like so, as you can see here, okay? See this piece, how it slides on? Very simple, and it'll make a click, and you're good to go again. Okay. Now, with your kite, this bar will have five lines. This is a five-line C kite. This is my bar. I've actually been riding it, and so with my new kites, I've had it on four-line setup, but I will put the fifth line on there tomorrow before I package it up for you. So just in mind, you will have one extra line. The fifth line will actually go in between these two, okay? Notice how I've got a whole bunch of twists here, as you can see, a lot of twists. This is from doing a lot of tricks. Um, it's easily uh, it's easily untangled if you know how to do it. But right now, I'm going to show you how to get the line straight. Okay. So first thing you want to do is grab these two outside lines here and grab these two inside lines. Okay, so you're gonna get something like this. I like to hold them like that. So here's my inside lines, here's my outside lines. Right now, the inside lines are twisted, but that's okay, I'm not worried about that right now. I just wanna separate these two outside lines from these two inside lines. Okay, when I get to the end, this is real important. You don't wanna let go. You wanna make sure you got everything right. These are the two inside lines, these are the two outside lines. Notice, orange is red and the white side of the bar is blue okay it's color coded so i'm going to set these down just like so as i have them spread out nice and neat this is your kite bro nine meter obsession pro it's the bag you'll get it's waterproof to pump the kite up okay take it out of the bag right here all right, first thing I want to show you, you always want to lay the kite out with the leading edge, this is the leading edge, into the wind, okay? Facing into the wind, just like I have it now. This is your inflate, deflate valve, okay? We're gonna unscrew this top piece here. All right? To make sure that this valve is properly in there you'll see there's a little o-ring sometimes you want to push in with your fingers then we're going to make sure that we thread this in correctly you don't want to strip it so that goes right on there okay the kite's going to come with a little adapter i'll put this in your kite bag it looks like this this will fit the pump to the kite these threads are going to screw on these top threads here Okay, now 
your pump should look like this as a little swirly thing right there that's going to lock onto that adapter okay so i'm going to lock onto the adapter and start doing what everybody loves to do just kidding pump it <laughs> your kite inflated properly about seven to eight psi okay some pumps have a gauge on them i know by feel you can also hear by the thumping sound okay you want it pretty firm this is a one pump kite so as you can see all the struts need to be inflated okay all right we always want to hold the kite like this Okay, notice I got it underneath my arm and my hand, and I let the wind pass through the kite. When we flip the kite over, we want to pendulum it to the ground, okay, and roll it over. Nose first into the wind, just like you see here, okay. On a windy day, you might want to put some sand right here, or your harness, or whatever just to kind of weigh it down okay so I made sure to put the kite down right in front of the lines as you can see outside line inside line inside line outside line now on this kite it's a C kite so you've got two bridle attachment points you have the outside bridle which is your steering component here and you have your inside bridle which is this Okay, so it's a no-brainer which line goes where. Inside line goes to inside bridle, outside line goes to outside bridle. Okay, this here is your fifth line. This is the extra line that I was talking about that will come on the bar. It will attach here. Okay, this is what supports the kite. So as you can see here, I have a loop. This is the end of my line. How do I connect this with this, okay? And what knot do I put it on? Usually stock, I put on the last knot here, okay? We're gonna create a knot called the lark's head. So, you simply push the line through itself, okay? As I'm doing like this. Okay, and then this, loop is going to go on here okay and we're going to tighten it down on that knot you want it tight just right before the knot it should look like that so that is our outside line connected to our outside bridle next we'll go get our inside line connect it to our inside bridle. I made a lark's head. It's going to go on over the knot. I'm going to tighten it down. Voila. There you go. Then I would take the fifth line, which is in the middle, and do the same thing here and attach it here. Do the same thing to the other side. I take the outside line, hook it here, take the inside line, hook it down here. 